What's up guys? Recently I did a video on how to add LEDs to a graphics card and I did that using a Cool Moon controller and some LED strips. Now on that video I got a couple of comments about, well questions, asking how I actually configured that onto one of these and what the pinout was. And instead of putting a guide together on the website I thought what I'd do is do a video around that. So we'll jump over to the back bench and we'll have a look at the pinouts on these and what you can do to be able to tap into it for your other products. So this is a Cool Moon controller. It's very similar to lots of different brands out there and I'm pretty sure they actually just relabel the same thing. Now these are said to be using a proprietary plug. So they have a six pin plug all the way down the side and they have 10 of them as well as two four pin plugs at the end. But these are actually simply just JST two millimeter connectors which you can purchase from anywhere like eBay or Amazon. If we take the lid off we can see from the top there's lots of electronics in there and I won't go into too much detail about that but basically if we remove this from its case it uses a very simple ARGB connection set. So if we draw this out as a piece of paper looking at the pins that are coming out on the six pins we simply have three four five six pins that come out and the two on the left are for the fans and that's a plus 12 volt and a ground and the four on the right are actually for the ARGB system. Now a lot of ARGB systems if you understand how ARGB works they use a combination of in and out data streams. Now the Cool Moon controllers actually do have the pins for the out but they don't generally use them. They're actually disconnected on the boards so you don't tend to use them. So the ones that we're interested in are these three in the middle. Now these are for the ARGB. When you look at the actual pinouts we have the negative, the in and the 5 volt positive. And all we need to do to be able to wire up into them is simply connect those to a standard three pin LED strip. Now this will work for anything that's ARGB because what it will do is on the in stream it will send the data in telling each LED which colour to be and at what time to actually light up. Now the Cool Moon strips and the Cool Moon controllers themselves do have all these six pins but they also have two four pins and these four pins are pretty much identical but they're for LED strips because they don't need the fan power to be able to control fans. If we look at how they're actually set up, it's on the exact same stream in a sense that we have a minus, which is your earth, your negative, an in, and a five volt plus. The end strip is actually for the out data strip, but they don't use these on the Cool Moon products anyway. And we can have a look at an example, which is the Cool Moon M.2 drive coolers. So if we look at the connectors on them, they actually use the four pin strips, but they actually only have three wires and they connect to the minus, the in and the five volt. Now to wire this up to anything, Basically, we can either use a cable that's come off of an old fan, so a six pin cable that's come off an old fan, and what I generally do is I pull out the unused pins, leaving the three wires behind for the ARGB, or like I said before, you can actually purchase the JST 2mm plugs, and you can get these in any pin format from 2 pin up to 8 pin, I've got a 6 pin here, and I would do the same, I would remove the unwanted pins, leaving the three that you actually need. Now if we look at the controller faced out, all we have to do is align those three pins out. Now this also works for when you want to build a connector to a normal three pin ARGB, which generally look like this. Now understanding the pinout for these plugs is pretty simple. On the end of the plug, you have three tiny little holes and a blank in the middle. And these actually align up to the plus five volt on this end, the data in and the ground. 
So you can simply actually just create a converter by aligning this plug up to this plug and connecting the wires and then simply plugging this into your controller would then give you the standard format. You don't necessarily need to go to that length because what I generally do is using the JST connector, I will connect it directly to the strip on the ground, the in data and the plus five volt. And that will actually work straight from your controller. Now I hope this video helps people understand how they can actually connect other things to their Cool Moon controllers. Uh, there are different types of Cool Moon controllers out there. I've found some that do actually use the out data stream, um, as well as some that will allow you to plug into, there's actually a place missing on this one here, but you'll be able to plug in like from your motherboard, which will override the actual unbuilt settings. I've never actually got one, but you can purchase them. You just don't really know often which ones are actually gonna turn up. But I do hope this video helps somebody with their modding in the future. Now, if you like this video and you want me to see more, make sure you subscribe to the channel, hit the like button, and I'll see you again next time.